what's going through my head is, um, is something my father said to me years ago. It was, it was just a short little couplet. He said, no regrets. And, and so, um, so a part of the way I want to respond to that is, and I think this is true for most of us. Um, I, I th you know, one of the things I, I do on a fairly regular basis when I try to claim retreat time is do it a kind of an examine where you go back and say, where, do, where did you see God present? Uh, where, where, um, where do you think you were paying attention to God being present? Where were you not paying attention? Um, leads into confession sometimes. Um, and, um, and, you know, hindsight is so 2020 and golden. Um, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit here because it's the part of me of no regrets that I, that I trust that for most of the time, most of us are doing the best we know how at any moment. There's a part of me that says, because God has been so wonderfully present and full for me personally, and I think in our life together, um, that um, I wouldn't change anything because even the screwy stuff has formed who we are, and that's a good thing. It, there, if, if you've ever read any of Kime Potok's novels, um, they are wonderful, and in, in uh, My Name is Asher Lev, I haven't thought about this in a long time, but in the book My Name is Asher Lev, one of the things that he gets to in his spiritual journey, where he's wrestling greatly with, um, with some negative things that happened with his upbringing, with his parents. And one of his great days of transformation is when he is able to thank God for even the times that didn't go well because it made him the human being that he is or was. And that getting to that place where you can be grateful even for the things that if you had the time machine to go back and do differently, um, in a sense that um, refused the possibility that even in that, God was working and drew us into a place of deeper faithfulness. Now having said all of that, I think I think the one thing that I would do differently, and this goes back to maybe even New Bishop, this is, I, this is almost embarrassing to say, because it's, it's, it's really stupid on my part at the beginning of being bishop. When I first became the bishop, I allowed myself to receive the pressure to think I had to have all the answers. Oh. That is so dumb. <laughs> not only do I not have all the answers, no one does. And what I would say now is, is that what I would do over again is that I would lead more from my vulnerability from day one which I think I do much better now and have been doing. And, but again, it's one of those things that um, I had to relearn um, along the way. So lead, lead more from out of the gate from vulnerability. And by the way, some of you know that, you've said this before, I think, I was given years ago by one of our dear clergy um, uh, a magic wand. Um, it doesn't work. 